Hi, let's talk about pseudoscience. The prefix pseudo means false, and when a pompous person like myself uses that word, she's making a definite statement. It's a statement about what kinds of ideas I'm willing to take seriously, and it puts me in the minority almost every single time. I don't care about you being religious. I don't care if you believe spots on your feet are mystically connected with spots on your face. I don't care if you believe a pink fluffy bunny rabbit brings you eggs on Easter or that the alignment of the stars is somehow connected with the flow of automobile traffic on the West Coast. What I care about is you clothing those ideas in a way that makes the public think they are scientific when you have no valid evidence. People do this regularly. Heck, some scientists do this occasionally. When we take hard evidence and we try to give it an explanation, we are sometimes guilty of this. Like when we try to explain what dreams are or what consciousness is. Sometimes a question is so complex that it's hard to give it an answer in a straightforward way. That's fine when we're clear on what we're doing and we make clear to everybody that we're just thinking about the problem, but when silly explanations are presented as facts, when shoddy evidence is used to back it up, when religious texts are presented as scientific authorities, when obscure language is used to explain a simple phenomenon, these things lead me to point my finger and call a thing pseudoscience and label the would-be expert as a fake and a liar. But how do you know if something is science or pseudoscience? I use a fairly simple test. First I ask myself, if the Mythbusters had all the information and equipment they needed, could they answer the question? And would they come up with a similar answer? If the answer is no, then the research probably isn't replicable, and so it isn't science. I ask myself, does the research actually support the claims of the expert? No? Not science. Does the expert include some research, but exclude other research that disagrees with his ideas? Pseudoscience. Is God involved? Probably pseudoscience. Is waffling and complex language used to obscure the issue? Possibly pseudoscience. Scientists have this awful tendency to use the biggest words they know for everything, and every branch of science has its own language, and this complicates things. Still, any scientist worth his salt ought to be able to explain his research to you in a way that is, is at least a little bit approachable. Scientists need to get better at this, and the population needs to take more of an interest and become educated in more branches of science. This is really important. If we don't educate our people, then they're always going to be susceptible to every snake oil salesman that comes along.